Hello everyone, welcome to Success Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about Finance for Beginners 2022, Financial Education. If you are new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. Financial literacy helps a lot of people understand their money better and make better decisions about it. Why is it so important to know about money? The more you know about money, the better decisions you'll make about it. The more you'll have and the better you'll be managing it. Even if you have the best job in the world, you could still be broke. How can you learn how to handle money? You can start by getting as much free information as you can from YouTube videos, blogs, podcasts, and other free sources like budget planners, financial calculators, comparison tools, and other free workshops and programs. You can even take it to the next level by buying books, courses, programs, or even using mentors and experts. We will start by talking about investing. Investing in the stock market, which has created a lot of wealth via capital gains, dividend incomes, and the power of compounding, is one of the easiest ways to get started with financial literacy. I encourage self-directed investing or employing a robo-advisor to invest in the stock market. Perhaps your goal is to begin real estate investment. These kind of investments demand much more capital, often at least 20% of the acquisition price. By renting your property for more than the mortgage, you may benefit from the difference while accumulating equity and improving your home's worth. You may also purchase a home, improve it, and sell it for a profit. Another alternative is to invest in REITS or Real Estate Investment Trusts. Finally, you have the option of investing in a personal or private company. You may accomplish this privately in a few ways. Investing in someone else's company, purchasing an existing firm, or creating your own. When considering investing in a company, you must first do research if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The next aspect of financial literacy is earned income. The money that goes into your personal finances is the money you earn. Commissions and hourly wages are both types of earned income. Commissions, tips, and bonuses. When looking for a job or a career, you should think about how you want to live and if you can afford it. You should also think about the benefits you'll get, like pension. There are other seven ways to make money that you should know about. Rental income. This is when you own something and rent it out to someone else for money. It can be anything like a house, a car, or a tool. Money from dividends. As the owner of a business, you can get money from dividends. You just need to buy a shares in a company that gives dividends, and you'll get a dividend payment, which is usually made every three months. Profit income. This is when your status as a business owner or an entrepreneur, when you sell something for more than it costs you to make, this kind of income is scalable, and you can make as much as you want from it. However, there is a lot more risk involved. So you don't want to take that chances. Money from interest. Interest income is when you get, when you lend your money, like a high interest saving account, bonds, or guaranteed investment certificates. Most of the time, you need a lot of money to make a lot of money from interests, but the benefits include that it is risk-free and easy to do. Capital gains. This is when you buy something and sell it for more than what you paid for it. Stocks and homes are two examples. This is why investing in stocks and homes are so popular. Royalty earnings. This is the money you get when you rent out your property to someone else. 
Royalty income can come from things like music, books, patents, or even franchises. This kind of way to make money takes work at first, but it usually pays off in the end. Earned income What we just talked about is earned income, which is usually your 9 to 5 job. Earned income is the most common and often the biggest source of income, but it depends on your skill and how many hours you can work in a day. The more of these seven revenue streams you have, the more money you'll earn. If you lose your job, you won't be completely broke since you have other sources of income. These seven streams income are either active or passive. If you really want to grow your income, you'll need income sources that pays more and require less time. Many of these income sources can be considered investments, such as investing in a business that can pay you profit income, investing in real estate that can pay you rental income or capital gains, and investing in a stock market that can pay you dividend income. The next part of knowing how to handle money is saving. As I've already said, you can make all the money in the world, but if you don't save any of it, you won't be able to reach your financial goals or build wealth. If you can't save, you won't be able to invest, so your money won't grow. So, what do you do to save money? To put it simply, saving money means spending less money than you make. How are things with your money? One of the easiest way is to use money management and budgeting software to keep track of your spending in an account. One of the best is Goho, which is a prepaid Visa card that can be reloaded and has all the tools you need to manage and most importantly, save your money. Goho isn't paying me to make this video. I just think that they have the best tool for people who have trouble managing their money. Paying yourself first is a subtle way to save money that works well. When you invest for long-term goals like retirement or for your children's education, you get better returns. If you could save enough money for a house in two years, that will be considered short-term. Because of short-term volatility, you wouldn't want your saving goals for the next few months to be in the stock market. Now, it's called long-term if you need to invest for a money for five years. Your final emergency fund size will depend on the number of factors, such as your field of work, how easy it is to find a job if you lose your current one, and your overall health. On the other hand, your credit is an important part of being financially savvy. If you have good credit history and score, you may be able to get better credit cards and loans with better terms and lower interest rates. These are two kinds of debt, good debt and bad debt. Bad debt include car loans, credit cards, and any other kind of debt that doesn't give you back what you put in. On the other hand, Good debt is a debt that will be paid off in the future, like a college loan, a loan for a business, or a mortgage. This kind of way to handle money is called leverage. Another part of financial literacy is knowing how to protect your money. This includes a lot of different kinds of insurance, like car insurance, home insurance, and so on. Having insurance protects you financially from hard times and debt. You'll also want to make sure your assets are safe, like any cash accounts that are covered by CDIC and any investments accounts that are covered by CIPF. When you pay with cash, a debit, a credit, or a prepaid MasterCard or Visa, you don't get into debt because you stop spending when your cash runs out. Cash is also a good way to buy and sell things through classified ads that offer cash discounts. Cash is harder to budget with because you could lose it, have it stolen, or not being able to make a certain purchases, like online purchases, pre-authorized purchases, paying bills, or going somewhere that only accepts MasterCard or Visa. Financial literacy may not be the most enjoyable topic, 
but it is without a doubt the most important. So, you should learn about money so you can reach your financial goals and live the life you've always wanted. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you do like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye!